everybody, welcome back to another Scat Atlanta video. So this week I'm going to be talking about 10 facts about Scat Atlanta that you might not know. I know for me, when I was looking into Scat Atlanta and considering coming here, I wanted to know all I could about the place, which is why I've been doing the vlog. So if you haven't seen my vlogs, make sure to go check those out. And yeah, let's just get into it. So fact number one is, and this is for all of the campuses, Scat runs on a quarter system. For a lot of art schools and colleges in general, universities, they run on semesters. So there are two semesters per year, but for SCAD, it's a quarter system. The most common one is to take the quarter, the summer quarter off. So then you're kind of going to school like every other college where you go in the fall and then you go back in the winter and spring. I am in my first quarter, freshman year. This is the fall quarter, which goes from September to November, halfway through November. So we only have another few weeks here. And then we have a month and a half winter break and then our winter quarter starts in January and then spring and then summer and then back to fall. Along with this, you only take three classes per quarter usually. There are some exceptions where you're allowed to take four, but it depends on your GPA and your ability to handle that work. Fact number two, FYE is a class that you have to take as a freshman. It's an extra class, so it is my fourth class right now, even though I only have three actual classes. And basically what it is, is just a class to get you used to the campus, the way SCAD works, and kind of prepared for your future going from SCAD out. Number three, you do not get to choose your classes the first quarter. So as you're getting ready to go to SCAD, you'll have an advisor and they pick the classes for you. I did some dual enrollment before so they incorporated that in and then I didn't have to take certain classes that I had already taken. I don't know how it is if you're transferring so if you transfer you might get to choose your classes right off the bat but I know that coming in as a complete freshman I did not get to choose my classes. I do get to choose my classes for next quarter and actually my registration time is this weekend so that's exciting. Number four, there are four actually campuses that you can go to and they all cost the same price. Internationally, you would have to pay that flight price, but the actual tuition is the same for all the campuses. So there's Atlanta, Savannah, Hong Kong, and Lacoste, France. And then there's also e-learning, which you just do online. And again, that's all the same price. Number five is really exciting. There are no classes on Friday. We have Fridays completely off unless a class is being made up. So if a teacher is sick and that class has to be rescheduled or if there's some other reason that you don't have class on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, then those classes that you miss will get made up on Friday. But other than that, our Fridays are off. It gives us time to kind of catch up on work if we need that. And it also gives us time to just relax, which is awesome. I know a lot of clubs meet on Fridays and the gym is open and it has a lot of programs. So there are things you can do on campus on Friday. It's just more up to you, you get to decide. Number six, you do not need to write an essay to apply. I think you can, I did not, but every little thing will help to get you more scholarship money because it is really expensive. Number seven, specifically for this Atlanta campus, we have a new dorm. It's a completely new building. This is the first quarter of people living inside of it. It wasn't even done up until like, two weeks before we moved in. Actually, they were still, they are still working on stuff, so it's not completely even finished. And along with this new one, I've heard rumors that there will be two new dorms along the side, this one going right out there where the old dorm building used to be. Number eight, SCAD events. So in Atlanta, a couple weeks ago, there was Animation Fest taking place. And basically it's a bunch of little workshops or shows, just viewings and talks, live talks from people who, some of them have graduated from SCAD and are now in the business, in the animation business, working for Disney, working for all these different places. And they come to Atlanta and that event is free for the students. It's part of our tuition, it's included in it. Savannah, the Savannah campus has the Film Fest, which is super cool and it sells out very quickly. I did not realize how quickly it sold out. I did not get a ticket this year because I checked, I think four days after it started 
selling tickets and they were sold out. There might be some openings still for individual things, but for me to have to catch a bus early in the morning and go down there, I don't know if I would be able to, like nothing is guaranteed because it just sells out so quickly. But those events are free to the students. You just have to be quick about responding to those opportunities. Number nine. So if you have seen any of my vlogs, you might think, oh, that class looks really fun or, oh, that looks easy or hard. And number nine is classwork really, really just depends on which professors you get, which class you're taking and with who. Because I know of some harder professors and then I know of some easier professors. I think mine are pretty balanced, but I know that there are some extremes, at least from what I've heard. And again, you don't get to choose your classes the first quarter, so it kind of just, but you'll do great. And finally, number 10. This is a big one. So for college, you think, oh, I can just skip a class. There's so many students, the teacher won't even notice. SCAD, you can't. The teacher will notice. They have to notice. They take role every single class and you are allowed up to four absences per class. And if you hit those four absences and go above them and beyond, you are marked automatic fail and you have to take the class again in order to get credit for it. For me, I like going to class. I don't think I would ever dream of skipping it because that's why I'm here, that's what I'm paying for. But I do know that you have to stay on top of it. For the absences, it does not matter if it's excused or unexcused. If you just skip, or if you're more than 15 minutes late, you're absent. If you get sick and you email the teacher and explain your situation, if you do not show up to class that day, you are marked absent. There really aren't any exceptions at all. The reason and their reasoning for this, which makes sense to me, is we are here for 10 weeks. If we miss four classes, that's 20% of what we are supposed to be learning that we've missed. So four absences is reasonable. Nobody can prevent getting sick. I threw up three times yesterday. You just really have to stay on top of things and ask yourself, is it worth it in the long run? Because there could be an emergency later on where you need to use a couple of those four absences. It's really just up to you. One more thing that I'll throw in as a little bonus tip. Um, crop tops are a thing here. At least they were when it was warmer. It's getting a little colder now, so we're all wearing sweatshirts. But if you like wearing crop tops, Scad might be your place. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any other questions. If you do, you can comment them below or direct message me on Instagram or Snapchat. We haven't thrown that out there in a while. And I will see you next time. Bye.